Yo, yo, what up, man? Chris, somebody checking back in, man. Back with the blog, man. Make sure that like button, that subscribe button, your way in. I appreciate all the support, man. Back with another Van Chronicles. OKC, what up? I'm in Oklahoma City, man. Shout out to everybody in Oklahoma City. You know what I'm saying? I don't really get here to get to come through this uh, state too often, man. But shout out to everybody in Oklahoma City. Um, but we got to talk about this event. I watched the event last night, bro. I ain't even want to blog on it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to blog on it. I was tired. I didn't feel like blogging. I was just laughing at other people's blogs. That's what I was doing. I was laughing at other people's blogs. But this event <laughs> was so trash, man. And round one is getting hot in here. Y'all know DNA slogan. Get them the hell out of here. Hell no. Get this fake-ass MMA loaded Lux the hell out of here. Get this halter top, fishnet wearing ass nigga the hell out of here. Get this whole event the hell out of here, bro. And I ain't never seen a nigga get disrespected more than King Bow, bro. This nigga's in interview telling him he got a gay outfit on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. But you going through? And the reason they so, 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 why? Because you got this gay-ass shit on. You know, that's the only reason. Bro, <laughs> this nigga's telling him in an interview he got this gay. And they ain't lying either, bro. They ain't lying. Look at, look at this. This nigga had on a fucking, bro, a fishnet halter top, bro. This nigga came to the event with a fish. This nigga is so clueless. On what's going on in battle rap, he delusional as hell. I didn't blog at all on this event, bro. If you if you notice, there's not one blog on my channel promoting this event, interviewing him, talking about the pre event, prediction blog, nothing. I be feeling a type of way when people come into battle rap because I don't be feeling like they be coming in the right way, bro. Like they they be super arrogant. I don't feel like they ask enough questions. They reach out to enough people. And they always act like they finna change the world. Like, literally, everybody that come into battle rap act like they finna reinvent the wheel, do some shit URL ain't never done, do some shit RBE ain't never done, do some shit any of these leads ain't never done, change the whole thing. And on face value, like, oh, cool, you can own a ship, you can own the content, all that kind of... It sounds good. It sounds good. GTX was on the same shit, bro. GTX was on the same thing. You know, you do the battle, we give you the battle, you can play out, put it out on your platform. I hear GTX having some issues, but we see this all the time, man. It takes a lot to come in a battle rap, and niggas don't be humble. That's why I don't really be, like, rocking with niggas. So I didn't talk about this blog. I ain't even going to trip like I paid for it, because I ain't pay for it either. I ain't put no pay-per-view. I ain't pay for this event at all. I literally watched this whole event on Instagram. On Instagram, bro. I watched this whole event. So... There was like multiple Instagram. This is what I say about the most disrespected because first of all, shout out to Enes because he's on the card and bootlegging the whole event, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's bootlegging almost 70% of the event and he's on the card, bro. Like that, that's already like semi disrespectful. So he, he, he doing that, but his stream was a lifesaver because, you know, there was other people that was like, playing the stream in the discord and then live streaming on youtube you could go on youtube and see the event from niggas that was live streaming on from discord who bought the pay-per-view so you could see the pay-per-view or you could see it on instagram but the instagram view was clear shout out to enes and in the enes had about 1200 people in there bro beasley was in there bill collector was in there loaded lux was in there i mean literally a slew of battle rappers was in there watching this event I never seen nothing like that ever, bro. I never seen it bootleggers so recklessly online. Like niggas just did not give a damn. They just bootlegging the hell out of this. So that that was one thing. And um Cassidy basically doing like a mid battle interview where he's saying the nigga got on a gay outfit, bro. It, this, they paid this nigga to host, bro. This is what I mean by the disrespect. They paid this nigga to do an event, and he they, he flat King Ball is flat out being disrespected bro and i see all these niggas hitting me up bro when i woke up this morning i had like three or four messages king bow uh said he's gonna book the daylight and loaded lux battle we don't give a damn bro we don't give a damn you don't even got this event right do we really want daylight and loaded lux to be on uh, some shit like this you know what i'm saying like bad audio bad stream bro i'm gonna tell you right now First of all, I don't even believe that. Let, let, let me just get that out of the way. I don't believe nothing Daylight says, bro. Daylight said in an interview, the nigga got paid $200,000 for this battle, all cap. I don't believe nothing Daylight says. I don't believe nothing about this Loaded Lux battle. If I'm Lux, I'm looking at this event, ain't no way in hell. I'm finna put the biggest battle of my career 
on the line for a nigga that don't even got a good stream, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't even have. We need that battle presented the right way. And King Bow can't do it. I gotta keep it real. He he can't do it. He's so clueless on what's going on. He's spending time trying to address. And this would kill me. Well, I, I mean, maybe they didn't know because they in the building. But I'm like, like, but I know they be looking online like hip hop is real and all them. I wish they would have told the nigga that, yo, your stream was fucked up. That's what he need to get online today and address was how bad the stream was, which he probably ain't going to do. But uh, that's why we don't need to support niggas like this, bro. That's why we don't even need to support niggas. A lot of times niggas come in battle rap, throw some money around, and it's like, Niggas get all in a hoopla, but this but this is why. I watched the event. First battle. Well, first of all, I don't know what's up with clean paper. He didn't even come to the to the event. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if URL blocked the battle. I don't want to hear shit about no airport thing. Cause you already went through that with the whole Geechee and Snake Eyes battle on, on Geechee's League. You missed a flight. I don't know if his battles are getting booked. And you are real. If y'all gonna book a battle, bro, and I'm not saying y'all booked a battle, because I don't really know. I, I should call Pete. You know, I, you know, if it wasn't so early, I would call this nigga Pete right now and be like, yo, did you block this battle? But it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. I ain't going to wake him up. He might be going to church or something. But if you going to block a battle, why y'all blocking at the last minute? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, what, what's going on? Y'all messed the whole event up, if that's the case. But I ain't going to put that on URL because I don't really know. So I'm just going to say it's on clean right now. Bro, let's be real, bro. Who cares if they blocked the battle? If they blocked the battle, they got every right to. If you sign a contract and you still taking battles on other leagues, knowing you can't battle over there, at least without asking URL if it's cool, it's on you. I can't be mad. They enforce their contracts. You ain't have to sign that shit. And Clean definitely is on that contract. So he didn't do the battle. And then uh, you also had T-Top talking about he's sick or whatever the case. He was promoting the battle pretty heavy. It's kind of hard for me to believe he would go this hard on promo in the battle and then still no show. So maybe something really going on with T-Top. I don't know. T-Top, my man, I, 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 I'm going to call T-Top, too. I got to see what's going on with that. But uh, so you already had only three battles. So that's all right, bro. When I tell you these niggas dragged the shit out of these three battles, bro, six hours into this event, only two battles happened, and it was only three on the card. Bro, we are spoiled by caffeine, bro. We are spoiled by caffeine. They had a structure. They had shuttle buses picking uh, ballers up from the hotel. So you couldn't really be like, oh, I'm going I'm to get to the event when we want to. No, the shuttle buses is coming to get you. You're going to be at the event, and it's going on in time. It's a whole production. We didn't got spoiled for that for two years. All this waiting at the computer like we was doing with Remy Ma, like we was doing last night. We ain't with it no more. At least RBE did a straight to it event. 17 battles on the car they got through it in eight hours there was only two minute rounds I, I it was short rounds but 17 battles in eight hours ain't bad so we are through with the whole take forever to do event era that shit is over with so six hours into the event this nigga only done two battles bro between craig lamar and fucking jazz the rapper was about 90 minutes just between them two so he spent the first three to four hours with no battles then he did the Craig Lamar battle. 90 minutes later, the Jazz battle happened. 90 minutes, bro. 90 minutes, my nigga. So the Craig Lamar and Ace Amin battle. That battle was trash. That battle was trash. Hip hop is real. I see y'all niggas on, on Instagram talking about it was a good battle. No, it wasn't, my nigga. No, that shit was not no good battle. That battle was trash. Also, Ace Amin won the battle 2 1. He lost the first round, won the next two. Craig Lamar choked in the second round, gave up his round. Damn it, gave up his round in the third, even though he rapped longer in the third. But all this giving up rounds, your rounds are already too fucking short. How you going to end your third when you end it just – how you going to end your third early when you end it your second early too? No, oh, we, ain't, we ain't doing that. Craig Lamar, I rock with you. I saw you at the Brick by Brick RBE event. Mom. But my nigga, you tripping. You know what I'm saying? So you lost that battle. Ace of me had moments. I ain't going to front like – he be rapping a little too fast, though. I don't, I don't know. He need to pace himself a little bit better. But Ace of Mean had moments, some decent bars. Twerk was on stage. You know what I'm saying? So he was in the building. He was in L.A. And uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, and then 90 minutes later, they do the jazz battle. 
I didn't see the first round of the Jazz joint. That's what I'm saying, bro. They took so long, niggas going places. Going. Next thing I know, the stream up and the Jazz battle going on, just out the blue. So they had that battle. I didn't see the first round. I did give Jazz the second and third round, though. So she already won the battle to me. I didn't see the first, but I gave her the second and third. RX was decent, but she don't still don't got no delivery. And still just talking about her angles were cool. She had a decent battle, but most of her angles were Jazz is a virgin or lost her virginity or whatever. And the other angle was that she's a, a, um, a 911 operator. That was like the other shit she was saying. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. You know, Jazz had angles. What did Jazz? Jazz talked about her and Coffee's issues. She also talked about, you know, a lot of rumors about her fucking Beasley and smacking on them. You know, them just rumors. But why you not on URL cards, but you fucking the league owners, that type of bullshit. So some of that shit probably ain't true. But uh, I don't know. At the end of the day, Jazz just structured her shit better for the second and third round. She had better material. The third round was close. I still give it to Jazz. So to me, this is a, just another win for Jazz. And shout out to her because she had two back-to-back -back battles and she won both of them. The Clips battle and now this battle. And then the Daylight and King Ba joint was mad late too. That shit was like two hours after the Jazz battle. I mean, I'm like, God damn, bro. Like, I, I damn near like, niggas had to call me to tell me that the that the Daylight battle has just started for me to like get back on Instagram and watch that shit. But, uh... I don't know, man. Daylight just won that clearly. I don't know what the fuck King Ba was up there doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then I see him in interviews talking about he don't know the difference between battle rapping and rapping. He think because he can rap that he can battle rap, and it's not the same thing. I don't know why niggas be thinking that. I don't even know if niggas think that. He he just think that. You know what I'm saying? Just because you can rap does not mean you can battle rap. You got to structure your shit. You got to layer your shit. Your shit got to be cohesive from round to round or whatever. It got to flow. You got to talk about certain stuff. This is not who can rap the best. This is not that kind of contest. It is a battle rap. It's attack your opponent. And clearly, we already knew coming into it, he wasn't going to be a better battler than Daylight if Daylight came to rap. And Daylight was cutting his round short, too. This whole event was trash. It was literally 47 people in the crowd, and that's not a lie. 47 people in the crowd, bro. There was a stream on YouTube that had 1,200 people watching the bootleg on YouTube. There was 1,200 people on Enes's IG, some more people on another uh, person's IG. So I'm going to tell you right now, most of this whole event got bootleg. So you're not making no money on a, on a pay-per-view or the stream, you know what I'm saying? You're not really, you're not really, not making no real money on that. And then, 47 people in the crowd, bro. Niggas took a, bro. Niggas took a head count, bro. 47 people, and that ain't even the worst. That included the DJ. You know what I'm saying? That included the DJ, bro. 47 people in the crowd, bro. You're not making no ticket sales either. So I'm trying to figure out how the hell you can afford these battles at the end of the day because you ain't making no bread. So I know you're not in the business to be throwing money away, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe you can take the battles that you do and shop them somewhere else and make more. But the battles are so trash. Who the fuck are going to buy the battles? The audio, I mean, maybe the audio is better in the recorded version, but even the live stream audio was not good, bro. I had to literally press my earpiece to my ear just to hear it better. The whole entire time I had to press my earpiece like this just to be able to hear what's going on terrible event king bob we don't want to see your ass no bro but get them fist nets the fuck up out of here we don't want to see that shit no more you clueless and another thing at least when remy ma had a bad event or had issues with her event she got on cam camera and showed a lot of humbleness you on camera worrying about how niggas ain't getting your bars and oh you know they don't get my bars they didn't want to hear me rap they hating on me the most important thing is the fan bro we didn't even expect you to beat Daylight, so we ain't even tripping. All we really wanted to hear was Daylight rap. Let's just keep it real. We're not really thinking that if Daylight comes with three rounds of written material, that your material can be written. You need to worry about the fans. What the fans really care about is the bad stream. That right there is more important. And you ain't See, this is what I mean by humble. You ain't addressing none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And you got to be like... Niggas got to be telling you what's going on. Like, yo, niggas complaining about the stream online. This is what's going on online. This is what, like, at least that's what Remy Ma is doing, bro. When there was a bad, when there was a bad uh, stream or pay-per-view shit, 
it was people telling her they're complaining about this stream online. You got to have the same people taking a social media presence or what's going on. And you need to be getting these interviews, apologizing to fans. I don't expect you to get the money back, but apologizing to fans and telling the fans you're going to make up and do better in the future. You so worried about your fishnet outfit. You worried about bars that niggas didn't get. You so worried about how they was hating on you, bro. What matters is your product didn't come out right. Fuck the bars. Your product didn't come out right. And that's a that's a that's a game changer. That's that's the killer right there. That that is a killer right there. You are in a market where niggas ain't coming to the to the battle rap event. 47 people in the crowd, bro. You <laughs> nigga, you booked a venue that held fifteen hundred people. The venue, the Globe Theater held 1,500 people. <laughs> and y'all literally have 47 people, bro, minus the staff. 47 tickets sold minus the staff, bro. That is that, bro. <laughs> it's a wrap, King, bro. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Round one, y'all know my slogan. Get them the fuck out of here. It's a wrap, man. That's all I got to say about this event, man. I ain't going to harp on it too much because I ain't paid for it. So I ain't going to really act like I'm deeply hurt or nothing. Like he killed my pockets. I ain't finna get on here and be like, yo, you need to pay us back. I didn't pay for the event along with a lot of other niggas. But at the end of the day, this is what happened, man. This is why we need to appreciate the RBEs, the URLs, the Chrome 23s, the bullpens, which Black Ice Cartel was still back. This is why we need to appreciate them when they're around because we see what happened. Everybody coming in and we need to just stop supporting niggas that do shit like that. Just come in for a quick money grab or, or just change the world shit. King Bob, we do not want you booking Daylight and Loaded Lux. Not at all. We do not want you that shit on your platform. Nothing. And to be real with you, where the fuck we gonna see these battles at? You are basically saying that this is a platform where you can own your content, do what you want to do, sell it, whatever. My thing is, where are we going to see Jazz and RX at? Where? On YouTube? On RX channel? On Jazz channel? You're going to sell it to Netflix? You're going to do this? Like, what's the plan? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I ain't been watching enough King Bai interviews. Maybe I don't know. Maybe he didn't, maybe he didn't told y'all where the battle's going to be at. We don't even know shit about what's going on. These niggas are do the loaded lux battle and then fucking hold the battle and shit and be it be locked away until they decide they want to set like we don't want you having nothing to do with daylight and loaded lux, bro. Nothing at all. Nothing at all to do with that battle, man. Chris, I'm biased. I'll let your boy.